What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. 75 Caprice here with another video. About to show you guys all my inventory that you guys are all invited to purchase from me. They are all for sale. Uh, for fast to respond, you guys can message me or contact me on Instagram, Mr. 75 Caprice. Or you can message me here on YouTube, send me your email and I'll send you mine or whatever. And we can get a hold of each other and we can make it happen. But let's start off with the first one. Yeah, ready? Come on. So the first one we have here, 1985 Oldsmobile 9.8 Regency Broham. This is a rare car. Didn't make a lot of them with the light on the pillar right here. These are the same as a box Chevy, I believe. And this year came with the orange corner lights. If you guys pay attention, a lot of them have these with this orange and then this is clear. So this one has the full orange corner light. Makes it different. Full-town Broham. All original. Looks like original paint. Original hook cap. Got all its bumper fillers, which is pretty rare. All badges, none missing. Nice bumper. Still a little wet because I just rinsed it off. Try to beat the sun because the sunlight going down. This one was pretty dirty. The vinyl top don't look in bad shape. Use some conditioning to bring that shine back up and protect it. But all there. Got the skirts. These are removable. If you guys don't like them, you can take them off. But I like skirts. Show you guys the inside. All power option, power windows, power locks, power seats. Look at these jams. Super clean. Even the doors. Light work. Seed works. Forty four thousand original miles. Factory radio, pretty much everything stuck. Got the clock, don't look like it's working. Who knows? Clean dash. No rust. I mean no cracks, no cracks in the dash. It's got nice wood grain all over the car, even the doors. All four doors have wood grain. Show you guys the rear. Wood green. 
clean jams. Some dirt right here. No rust, guys. Light works. Looks like light works on all the doors. Even the top. Now this is the only downfall on the car. The car does need a headliner. Which is common in all the old schools. If they haven't been replaced at one time. They usually just sag. Or, you know. It's got the seat. It's got the logo. On them. That's pretty dope. Show you guys the other side real quick. Nice logo, stamp on the seat, clean jams. Wood green right here in the seats. Super nice car. Even the weather strip is not in bad shape. Like I said, power seats. They work. Stamped. Glove box. Title. Owner manual. Got the trunk top. No way the keys are at. Show you guys that also. So it does need a, it does have a cracked windshield as well. So cracked windshield and headliner are the most flaws in this car. Show you guys under the hood. And the trunk. Right up, trunk pop works. Small exhaust leak, sounds like. Here's the trunk. That's pretty cool. Never seen a spear with dual bolt pattern. Too bad the tire don't work. That's pretty cool. Look. This is the trunk. It's just dirty. Just to wipe that down. I'll get to that. Yeah, it's all dirt. So you have it all nice and quiet. Let's go for a 9-8, go ahead.
ready to go. Eighty-four Oldsmobile, clean title. Asking price, sixty-five hundred. Ready to go. Show you guys the next one. Next up is going to be this 1971 Chevy Impala. All original as well. Got the original hub caps, the white walls, got all the molding, wheel wheel trims, airline trim. Not sure if this is the original paint job. Kind of looks like it. Clean bumper. Chevrolet. 71, got the vent in the trunk. Has all the lettering right here. Chevrolet does have little like paint chips. Not sure what this is, but it does have a couple chips. Top is nice. Super clean interior. This one has 41,000 original miles. Super nice dash. No cracks. Factory radio. Cigarette lighter. Vent for the heater. Horn works. It's not an AC car. Just got heated cold. Not sure how the cold works, but it doesn't have a compressor. I guess it just vents from the outside. Roll up windows, clean jams. Looks like they put some protective stuff on it. Like I said, not sure what they did here. But they put some kind of protective on the rockers. Come with some extra parts. And the owner's like a mechanic's book. Auto repair. There you go. You fix it yourself. Mechanic book comes with it. These are nice, these buns got a nice pattern on the seats. In good shape. Show you guys the back.
Clean gems. That line around here is good. No sagging. Super clean, all original. Show you guys under the hood. Turbo fire. Check that out. All original. 350 two bear carburetor. Clean engine bay. No rust. Guys, the trunk. Not sure why they painted it this. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a rust preventer or something, but I'm not sure. Got all the paneling, more of that spray paint. Just has that, not the jack. Pretty much it. Nineteen seventy one Chevy Impala sedan. Asking price on this one is eleven thousand. All original sedan. No major flaws besides this one. That I can see. But she is ready. I can fire it up right quick so you guys can hear it. But not least, we have this 1987 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. 87 does have the Euro lights, a nice leather walls with the original wheels. So this car has been painted at one point.
does have a little dent right here kind of hard to see guess a car backed into it so it does have a small crease right here hard to catch it on camera it's got aftermarket headlight with LEDs got a hood scoop Put the SS wing. It's got power windows, power locks. Champs look like they've been just dust painted on them, not clear cord them. They riveted the door handle or the pull thingy. Yeah, so it's coming out. Look at that. Solid. Got the bucket seat. BNF shifter. Aftermarket radio. Some gauges. Read seventy four thousand miles. But the engine is not original on here. These come with a stock 305. This one has a 350, which I'll be showing you guys shortly. Put the hood. I guess the previous owner had the transmission rebuilt. It's a 204 hour. And it does have a Lunati cam. Here's the specs. See, it's got some fading. Show you guys under the hood. There we go. So this is a Summit 350 motor with aluminum heads and a cam. Roller rockers. Don't sound that bad. With some headers, I believe, followed by some magnet flows. Got a brand new radiator. See if we can pop the trunk. Here's the trunk, got some floor mats. So 
some leaves. Like they've been spraying some stuff under there. See how she sounds. nice this is what the headlights look turned on and there you have it 1987 Chevy Monte Carlo SS asking price of this one is 8500 so we got 8500 11,000 and 6500 they are all ready to go plain titles all located in illinois for fast to respond contact me on instagram mr 75 caprice also if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel hit that like button leave a comment let me know what you guys think which one's your guys' favorite one what you guys think about all these old schools we have an 84, 71, and an 87. Thanks for watching.